Uh, Adeneke, give us your top ways of overcoming the scars if you suffered abuse. You're muted again. So sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the first thing is to face your fears. Okay. Um, for me, after that incident, I... Okay, so the, after that incident, I stopped going home alone from school. So sometimes after lecture, I wait till I'm sure everybody's at home. Okay. Um, it's hard for me to sleep alone in a room. Mm. Okay, it's better now. Okay, but uh, many years after that, I think this happened in 2013. Okay, um, but till now, many times when I'm home alone, I lock every single, I cannot forget. I lock every single door, you know, I use the key, I use the lock. You know, sometimes people are like, oh, we're at home now, please <laughs> don't lock mm. everybody in. Okay, but it's better, it gets better, like Joseph, Joseph said, it gets better. Before I would not even stay in the house. Now I can stay in the house. I'll just make sure I look up. Okay. So um, confront your fear, your fears. Face it. You cannot keep running from it. Okay. For me, it has gotten better. Sometimes I forget to look actually. But when I wake up mm. and I remember, I go to look. <laughs> okay. So face your fears. I don't know what yours is. If it's um, trusting somebody, whatever it is depending on your situation. I know that the first major sexual incident I had, the bike man actually carried me into a bush. Yeah? And, okay, it's a long story, so <laughs> just say hi. Okay, it was, no, that was traumatic. This one was there, but that was, that was traumatic for me, okay? In a city where I don't know anywhere. So now, when I'm on bike, and you're passing a route I don't know, I bring out my Google map, and I follow you, to be sure that we are on the same lane. Okay, so take safety measures. That's the next thing. Take safety measures. You are not to be blamed, but sometimes we can help these things. Don't walk late at night alone. You know, take safety measures, especially if it's something that happened before. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you have you're in a relationship where the guys are abusing you, safety is get out. Yeah. Okay, safety is not praying for the person or hoping the person will change. Okay, so take safety measures, um, invest in yourself, okay? Because when things like this happen, most of the time you forget your self-worth or it reduces, mm. okay? You don't see yourself the way you used to see yourself. There's just a part of you that feels um, dirty, depending if it's sexual, okay? If it's emotional, you feel not good enough, okay? So... You need to reinvest in yourself. Remind yourself things you know about yourself. Learn new things. Okay, so you are not defining yourself by what is most, most prominent in your mind at that moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, because at that moment, what's in your, your mind is what happened. So you have to do, push something out and replace it with something. If you push something out and you don't replace it with something, it keeps coming back in. So yeah. you keep being reminded that, okay, Something happened to me, does this define me? But if you're filling your tank with clean water, with new things, reminding yourself that you're valuable, reminding yourself that this doesn't define you. Before you know it, sometimes you don't even remember. Like now when I talk about this experience, it's because I've shared it a couple, a couple of times, many times. Okay, I speak to ladies, so many times I have to share my story so that they know, okay, I can relate with what you're telling me. Okay, because I get to talk about it a lot of times there are many times i have to remind myself again that okay what happened was not my fault then i remind myself again that okay you are complete irrespective of what happened this time it doesn't define who you are so you have to keep reminding yourself keep reminding yourself and before you know it sometimes no longer hurts as much as it used to okay is that a story you can you know, tell on sessions like this and you are smiling I, the first time i told the story i cried I, I, quite you. <laughs> I am I'm not at all surprised and like FIFO I am just um you know awestruck at the joy that and Joseph told me about his backstory before we started arranging this talk and you know we, we, uh, I don't know about Shivani but certainly the three of uh, you have all faced severe trauma um so Adenike uh, the practical steps you took 
uh, to make sure the environment was as secure as it could be, to take a practical step. Um, and like Joseph was saying, the more you're able to talk to a supportive environment, the less sharp the memory is. But you have to move memories out and replace them with a new focus that you read, you learn, you understand. And that is a way of changing the way you think to not think about the event as defining you. Is that a, is that a fair summary, yeah? yeah? Okay, Shivani, give us your ways, couple of tips for how you would overcome the scars of abuse. I think the first thing starts with acceptance. Acceptance that this has happened to me. Most of the time we are in denial that we are not being abused. So the first thing has to be that I accept that I have been abused. There has a trauma that has happened. Give yourself some time to heal. Like, you know, fever mentioned going out for movies. What I would do is I probably write it down in a journal. I'm an introvert, so I wouldn't be able to speak up so easily. So I would probably put it down in a journal, spend some time with nature and give myself uh, some time to heal. So it can happen that I am feeling okay one day and next day I get back into feeling very low about myself. And I know it's okay because I'm on that journey to become a better, stronger individual. And that belief that I'm stronger than the abuser is. I need to prove it to myself, not to the world, that I can get more strong than what has happened to me and emerge as a stronger, more powerful individual. So that's how I like to summarize it. That's that's brilliant. Listen, um, people watching, uh, we've obviously covered quite um, serious and triggering issues. I just want to go back and show you our website because there's some resources there for you. So uh, there's the homepage under the tab help. Uh, we've got Rape Crisis Helpline, which is uh, internationally suicide prevention helpline, the UN uh, Women for Gender Empowerment, and our open counselling um, resources that are international. So um, if you have been triggered by this conversation or other conversations or just thoughts that you have in your own mind, certainly going to the social media website is a way of, of finding some, some, um, some resources for you. Um, okay. Uh, it's been a serious conversation, but um, each of you is joyous to talk to. And um, I find a lot that, some of the brightest lights are some of the people that have come through the darkest times. So um, uh, I'm, I appreciate you for what you've done. Um, if you wave goodbye and we'll say goodbye to the, the watchers. And if you're watching this video, don't isolate yourself. Find someone to speak to, to trust, and you can start to make the step out of the darkness okay uh, we'll be back with some more social me too uh soon and um, so thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again soon